You know, whenever you talk about the Netflix Marvel shows that they did, obviously the first name that comes to mind for everybody was Iron Fist. Thank you. That, that was obviously the one. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Fist was clearly the one that everybody thinks about. If you're talking about what was the weakest of the Netflix series, that is. Uh, I... I Listen, season two of Iron Fist, I thought the first two or three episodes were actually pretty strong. I'm like, oh, wow, this show's finding its footing. And and then it all went to hell. And then it all fell apart. That <laughs> was just not a show that did well. And I've heard, hold a second. Uh, yes, zero. I've heard from zero <laughs> people asking, when are they bringing back Iron Fist in the MCU? I, I haven't heard that one yet. Um, but one person who really is wanting to see Iron Fist come back was the star of Iron Fist, Finn Jones. And Finn Jones is actually campaigning to try to get a Heroes for Hire show on Disney+. Plus. Uh, this comes to us from the folks over at CBR who wrote the following. Iron Fist star Finn Jones revealed that he wants to return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Danny Rand slash Iron Fist in a Heroes for Hire Disney Plus series. I would love to continue playing that character. I think there's a lot of room for growth. Personally, where I would like to see the reintroduction of the character would be in something like a Heroes for Hire TV series, Jones said in an interview with comicbook.com. I think that would be the most dynamic and fun way to reintroduce those characters. I loved working with Mike Coulter. Well, who wouldn't? Look at that guy. Yeah. Uh, and I loved the on-screen chemistry between Danny and Luke. I think it's a really interesting creative place uh, that that show can be taken in. I'd love to pick up that mantle again and keep moving the character forward and make the best possible Iron Fist there could be. All right. Let me throw out a couple of thoughts here. Um, you know what? Everything that was wrong with Iron Fist, none of it was Finn Jones's fault. Finn Jones didn't write that dialogue. Finn Jones didn't direct the episodes. Did he give the strongest performance? Yeah, he didn't cast himself either. Yeah, he did. He also did not cast himself either. And and I would argue this: even though season two got quite bad, in my opinion. I remember saying to Anne when we were watching it, I felt like as we were getting to the latter parts of season two, I started to feel like Finn Jones was finally starting to grow into the character a bit. Like he, his, I thought, I thought his performances was improving when he was going. That said, were Disney now to take over Iron Fist and Kevin Feige were to take over Iron Fist and make an Iron Fist show with him, I have very little doubt it would be a superior product than what it was on Netflix. So, hey, I'm not going to say this is the dumbest idea in the world. I, I think there's some merit to it. And if Kevin Feige, which I do not believe this is the case, but if Kevin Feige just wanted to take the Netflix Marvel shows and just say they're all complete canon with the MCU, which I'm pretty sure he's not doing that, but then you kind of have to look at Danny and maybe bring him back in and maybe Finn is that. And also... I will not disagree with him that I thought him and Mike Coulter had some pretty okay chemistry together. All that being said, that's the positive side. The negative side is the reality is this. There's baggage that comes along. I, I mean, fairly or unfairly, and I'm sure there are people out there who really did like Iron Fist. That's the beauty of the subjectivity of the art. But I think it's fair to say that the majority of people probably, Iron Fist was probably their least favorite of that. So I don't really think this will happen but I'm not going to say it would be the dumbest thing in the world to do it if they wanted. And nor would I say there wouldn't be any upside. I think there could be some potential outside. But yeah, it's up to me not doing this. Rob, you hear what Finn Jones is saying? You buying it? I'm like, there was a season two of Iron Fist? <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't know that either. Uh, look, me either. <laughs> uh, as, we, as we would normally say on this show, actor wants role. Water Film wet. 11. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's... I, I Actor wants to be in the MCU. Yeah, I, water I, I, wet. You know, totally great if you guys hired me. I respect his <laughs> desire. I, 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 his, his wherewithal, his gumption. Admired it, uh, or admire it. Uh, so I, I, here's the thing. I don't think anyone is clamoring for this to happen. I would love to see Luke Cage again. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge Mike Coulter fan. I am a. I watch his new series, Evil, which just recently right. finished its third season. I don't even know what I think about Evil. I love the first season, but I keep watching it mainly because of him. Uh, but it did have a great season finale. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do that. I don't know if he has a shot. I think, I mean, if they're, but if they're making an Echo series, maybe he does. I mean, hey, in, though, in a world where they're making an Echo series. I mean, they've, Echo's the, thing be is, lit. The, I'm thing, the thing is, though, they have analytics. They can look at analytics. And in the streaming world, 
analytics are everything. They can look at how many people watch that show and be like, okay, they can put it right up against what they've got on Disney Plus and go, is this something that we should do? By the way, it's it's the other thing that makes this a hard sell is the fact that when you look at Iron Fist, like when you look at Daredevil, a lot of great performances, but you think Charlie Cox. When you look at Punisher, a lot of great performances, but you think John Bernthal. When you look at Iron Fist, people don't think of Finn Jones. They think of uh, Jessica Henwick. Right. Mm -hmm. They think of Colleen Wing. A exactly. lot of people think Netflix, they should have just gone back and renamed the show Colleen Wing with special guest Iron Fist. Uh, yeah. Anyway, you hearing <laughs> about this, Chris, what do you think about it? I would love that version of Heroes for Hire. I would love Colleen Wing and Misty Knight. And yeah, okay, Iron Fist, I guess you can come too. Uh, he was much better I in the defenders. You, he's so mean. Yeah, you know, you know what? In in a in a ensemble cast, yeah. he worked well. He actually was I'd better. Agree with and that. and yeah, he yeah. had a good dynamic with everyone else. It's just those fight scenes, which I know in the first season of Iron Fist, a lot of that really was against Finn. You know, they were on a very tight schedule. There wasn't time to really learn a lot of stuff and train the same way we see with other actors in the MCU. That being said, I just really feel like Colleen stole the show. I loved her dynamic with Misty. I really wanted that. I definitely want more Luke Cage. Give me more Jessica Jones, please. But him campaigning for this isn't exactly shocking because, yeah, all of, all of us actors want to be in the MCU. We want that sweet, sweet Marvel money. Come on. Uh, and also Mike Coulter. Like, the, again, I like the idea with Mike Coulter, but Mike Coulter is just one of these guys. He's kind of like Mike Coulter's like Javier Bardem and Jason Momoa, where it's just like, He's got F you good looks. Yeah. Right. Like you look at him and you just feel bad about yourself. Like, I don't. That, he's no, but I as a guy, every time I, mean, I, look I, look at my, I look at my cold room. I'm just like, <laughs> I was feeling pretty good about myself until right now. <laughs> he's got that. Good. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Would you be up for Finn Jones as Iron Fist coming into the MCU? Uh, again, listen, it would be in different creative hands. Maybe they could do things differently, or maybe it's just well enough alone to go, you know what? That was adorable at the time. I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? Should they take a chance on it? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. We want to take a second and thank a sponsor of this video, Stamps.com. Guys, I know it feels early, but Christmas really is right around the corner. And if you've got a lot of stuff to send to family this year, you got to start thinking ahead. And if you're a small business owner, you know how important it is to be ready for the insane holiday season. Stamps.com has everything you need to make your life a whole lot easier. It's the 24-7 post office that you can access from anywhere. No lines, no traffic, no hassle. Get access to the USPS and UPS services that you need to run your business right from your computer. Protect your margins with major discounts from USPS and UPS rates up to 86% off. All you need is a computer and a printer. We all know that rates are always changing, but with Stamps.com's switch and save feature, you can easily compare carriers and rates so you know that you're getting the best deal every single time. And if you're running an online store, Stamps.com works seamlessly with all the major shopping carts and marketplaces. So get ahead of the holiday season chaos this year. Get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code CAMPIA for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts required. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code CAMPIA.